Look who's coming down the chimney! It's Santa Claus! Good thing all those toys helped break his fall. Wait, no! He broke it! Now what'll we give the kids? <laughs> Knew we should've just used the front door. Maybe we can make new toys from the broken ones. Huh, this toothpaste topper seems all right. It's so easy, you can practically write with it. And with it, we can make a Merry Christmas card. Well, it looks like we've got a spare tire. Plop it inside a balloon and then twist it up. Now blow it up nice and big so we can decorate. Some eyes, a mouth, a nice shiny red nose. And it looks like we're ready for some reindeer games. I don't think that was the look Barbie was going for. Eh, don't worry. Some toothpaste can help with blemishes. Good idea. Scrub all that gunk out of her pores. It looks like Barbie's in need of a winter wardrobe. Now she's a fairy princess. And look at all those buttons to pop. Her skirt is squishy too. Just don't pop it. Or we'd be back where we started. This little piggy needs a little fixing up. It's a water dispenser. So let's add a drink. Let's see, something festive. Let's go with something green. Not exactly milk and cookies, but let's give it a try. I think he likes it. Add a bow on top. Who has time to wrap? This teddy bear has really got the giving spirit. Giving so much of himself for the holidays. Those eyes and muzzle are going to our glove reindeer. Add some pointed ears. Color in those antlers. Poke a hole through a cup and add a straw. Now add the reindeer on top and blow them up. They can go in and out, just like a jack-in-the-box. It's one of those dolls Janice and Jen asked for. Well, most of it anyway. The top half at least, but with a candy wrapper, she's a little mermaid. Of course, every mermaid needs a few scales. Remember, if you can pick a color, choose rainbow. Probably should draw up a fin for her too. A nice top wouldn't hurt either. Add a bow and swim on over. A cardboard box? Let's put the pieces back together and make something totally brand new. With all this pink, something pig-related comes to mind. But this isn't some run-of-the-mill piggy bank. Cause we're gonna fill it up with candy. Push his little nose and get a treat. Just save some candy for the gift tea. Um, there's something wrong with that bowl. We could add a bottom, or we can add poppet toys. If anything, it's an excuse to bring out the glue gun. Can't beat sparkly glue, even if we're covering it up. Add some streamers along the side and cover the top. And we've got a helmet covered in buttons, ready for popping. Look at all that candy! Is this Christmas or Halloween? 
Take a hard piece and melt it up. Now dip in a straw and start blowing bubbles. Look, these bubbles don't burst so easily. So, you want to make a snowman? Make that a bubble bunny. Aw, our little kitty wants to help too. TP roll ready for crafting. Fill it up with goodies, like candy or popcorn. Or even better, both. Add a lid on top. Stack them up into a makeshift <laughs> advent calendar. Wow. Ooh, no wonder there aren't any stirring mice. Oh, wait, it's just a toy that looks like a mouse trap. It'll make a fun little addition to this mobile phone. Of course, everything's improved with glitter. Poor Mr. Gingerbread, half the man he used to be. Before the cookie crumbles even more, chew some gum and cover the hole with the empty gum packet. Look, we've just made a new Poppet toy. This would be a great gift for Mrs. Claus. Think things will go easier for this little Santa? Huh, climbing and going nowhere. Yeah, we've all been there. This Santa's a real gymnast. I think we stumbled on the Santa Olympics. Now everyone can have their own personal tiny Santa. Just remember to feed them. They're your responsibility. Oh, it's that house of cards all over again. Frosty's here to help. Take this plastic spoon. Add to this green cone all in a row for a DIY Christmas tree. Now it's time to add the decorations. And each spoon can hold a piece of candy. Can't forget a star on top. Or sprinkles. Can't go wrong with a handful of sprinkles. And powdered sugar gives it a nice snow-covered look. Maybe we should save this one for April Fool's Day. Unless it's for someone who's really into 52 pickup. Wait, look, it's a puzzle. Just put the pieces together. Excuse me, Mr. Spider, can we borrow this cup? It's already got a hole, so let's cut it up some more. Make a few star shapes throughout. And place on top of some light. Twist it around for a moving sky, well, a uh, room full of stars. Let's all give special thanks to Santa for appearing in person. You just know he's got a busy schedule this time of year. Holiday-tastic stuff. Catch you next time.